Do you watch anime? Do you enjoy Japanese culture? Do you enjoy the Japanese art of anime? Well, Studio Ghibli, one of the most decorated and awarded studios when it comes to Japanese animation in the movie business. But now it's come under attack from one Gavin McGinnis, an absolute loser in this sense, saying that if you watch anime, you're a pedophile. I just want you to know that if you're into anime, you're a pedophile. To be clear, if you watch those car cartoons, if you read those comics, if your avatar is remotely associated with any kind of Japanese animation, you're a pedophile, you're a pervert, you're infantilized. Now, who is Gavin McGinnis? Well, he is a, uh, a Canadian writer and founder of the Proud Boys you know, in the political sphere, uh, an organization that's actually been deemed a terrorist organization up here in Canada. The guy's an absolute loser when it comes to a lot of his stances with everything out there. Not saying that right wing, left wing, any sense of the point. He is one that one political figure that goes so far off the deep end that he nowhere close to the center. If you're this far into this uh, channel and this far into the video, subscribe to the to the channel. It just makes things a little bit easier in this sense. Censored TV. If you watch anime, you are a pedo. This is absolutely horrendous. A horrendous take and a basic lack of understanding of Japanese culture in this sense. If you don't understand that anime, the cartoon that has been dubbed as Japanese pop culture, uh, if you don't understand that their entire culture has revolved around part of this, and you're calling that culture a pedo, you have no idea what you were talking about. Uh, it, it's absolutely pathetic and disgusting to hear this type of thing to come out. You know, the makers of, say, The Animatrix, the makers of Street Fighter. Oh, how about Claymore? Um, I you know what's another one that I have here? Ghosts in the Shell? Um, Howl's Moving Castle's another one. Oh, you know, Spirited Away won Oscars. This movie won Oscars. Good old Cowboy Bebop. I have a collection of movies in anime and I find this absolutely disturbing and unhinged behavior because every single one of these movies are a classic movie that I would sit there and have my kid watch. They are amazing movies. They tell a story and they tell a story in such a different perspective. Now, obviously my kid won't be watching Street Fighter 2 because this is a very violent movie, very violent movie. Uh, but there is some very good parts in this movie, namely the Chung Lee fight versus Vega, which uses KMFDM's Ultra for the sound in the background of that fight. One of the best fights out there. It, when I think of like Naruto, uh, I think it's episode 143 and 142, or is it 142 and 143, where it's Sasuke versus Naruto at the falls. Absolute peak anime at that point because they do a completely different style in the Japanese telling. Animatrix, one of the most, like this is one of the craziest anime style things out there because they brought together, what was it, seven, seven or 10 different artists for short films. I, I believe Batman did something similar in that sense. Absolutely pop culture worthy and does not make you at all a person that wants to see little kids doing things that are just absolutely disparaging and sickening. Now, of course, he's been community noted because that's where it's going to be. Anime is not pathetic, pedolithic as subjects are fictional and are pr chosen primary narrative medium in Japan. Furthermore, engagement farming is not allowed per X rules. This community note to prevent verified accounts such as these from getting ad revenue from them. Well, you know what, community notes, I think you need to, you've got to uh, step it up here a little bit more. The worst thing about World War II was the aftermath of Hiroshima and Nagasaki because Japanese males became so inf 
infantilized that they had to create anime as a coping mechanism and thus pedophilia was born. How absolutely disgusting of a human being are you? <clears throat> Gavin McGinnis uh, regrets kicking the hornet's nest uh, of anime Twitter. Well, you know who else? Who else? Adult and watching Aqua Teen Hunger Force. We got Vera Dark getting completely told otherwise by Gavin McGinnis in one of his posts here. And they should rename Pride Month to Anime Month since it's the same thing anyway. What godforsaken earth do you need to go back to? Because you have crawled out of the depths of hell and trying to, trying to rage bait people, trying to just farm them for clicks. Honestly, dude, this is the worst take I have ever seen, especially against an entire culture of animation. Now, when it comes to anime, yes, there is some anime that is very, um, not wanted by a lot of people and would walk what he's saying here but that's only certain ones it's only a certain genre of anime there's many different types of anime out there you know, they've got shonen shudin shenin Josie, Ichi, Ichi is one of the ones you don't even want to go close to harem iskai mech slice of life akuto murray muki and Ayash Key, half of these I haven't even heard of before. And then you have Hentai, which is absolutely pornographic. Um, those are the types of things that, no, I don't want in my home. I don't want to watch. But there is so many different types of anime. There's so many different types of anime out there. It's like listening to music. There is that many music genres out there. That's, so by saying the entire th entirety that if you watch anime or like anime, you are a, a you like little kids in a sexual m nature is absolutely pathetic. It's like saying if you listen to music, you you are the same thing. It's not. There's so many different types of anime out there. There's so many different tastes out there, and <laughs> Gavin McGinnis here with this take is just absolutely pathetic and you know what you know what it's fine gavin go ahead say these things about an entire culture of anime enthusiasts say this thing because then the rest of us can sit here and tell you no it's not right it's not the way it is and i gotta say you're you're barking up the wrong tree going after anybody that likes anime you're going to completely disparage your entire sub base i would say four out of ten people five out of ten people like anime it's a huge cultural phenomenon on the amount of anime that's out there it's overtaken sales of comic books in the united states right now the homegrown Marvel DC comic books have been have fallen off the list and anime is taking over. So where does that really put you now? You have a, a, an entire culture now sitting here going, dude, what you're talking about, you have no idea calling anybody that likes that that um, that you want these sexual things with kids. That's absolutely disgusting and not right. And I think you need to step it back. And if you're going to go after certain ones, then go after the category. But this is pathetic. Anyway, I'm your Proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon.